Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Either live in love or live in fear, folks. I've done both. A lot easier living in love, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 447. NASDAQ down 290. S&P's down 68. Gold contract flat. 1814 an ounce. Silver up 69 cents, $23.61 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2, $85.91 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 26 ticks, trading 127.11. The 30 year down a full point plus 21 ticks at 153.22 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 458 ticks. There we go. Trading out there at 95,716. Euro is at 113, the yen is at 114.63, and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we've had a down market all day. When you take a look at the indices, what you have out here, You got the NASDAQ uh, trading down 1.9%. You get the S&Ps down 1.2% uh, and the Dow's down 1.2%. That being said, you're coming into the, the lowest swing the, from last week. The lowest, that lowest swing had a, had a low. Well, you, you get two, two different ones, actually. But I'm going to use the lowest swing from last week. That's the last swing point that we have, and it's already rejected lower price. So we went to uh, that swing point there. The low is 456.59. It had 119 million shares traded. We made it to 455.46. You rejected lower price. I expect what you're going to see is as we come into this close, USH. Let's go look at this and see what we're thinking here. So you had a low of 45.61. You're 24 points off of that low right now. It's the first time that we got a bid all day long. Well, you actually got a couple. You got a, you got a couple, actually. But that lasted all of 10, 20 minutes. Okay, so now the question is, yeah, we still got to sell it. See, this is interesting here. So so look at this, folks. So the last swing point there was on the E-mini. It's had 31,000 contracts. We could just got up there with 29,000. So that's not bad, but watch the next bar of the sell. So you get 29, and then all of a sudden we went up to 33. And that was the sell down from the 45.95, and now we're at 45.84 again. I suspect what we're going to see here, though, is that you're going to grind into and it's going to try to get into somewhere above 4603. So I suspect that that would be uh, getting you up another 15 points from where we are. We'll see how that baby shakes out. NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs have the same type of setup. Um, the difference is that you have not got any, any type of rejection of price on the three Qs. Uh, we the low is 371.11 today. You're at 372.56. You do have a you know less volume, but the bottom line is that you don't have a rejection of lower price out here. Gold gold contract caught a bid out here. You know rejected lower price at the uh, 1804. You've done 346,000 contracts. Uh, bottom line, this thing is looking for higher price. You rejected the uh, 1804. Um, you know this this wants. The next swing point there is 1881. Might take it once, 1925. If we go into the silver contract, you're going to see silver, um, even when gold was down at that 1802, uh, silver bottom line was taken off like a rocket ship. So t silver took out the consolidation, and you got plenty of volume on, on the takeout here. We got over 100,000 contracts right now. So as to say, with the silver has happened at uh, 25. 54 is your next swing up. That's you, you've blown this uh, way. 20. Let's see, 23. Yeah, cool. So we're we're 200 points right now. 200 ticks rather uh, over 
the consolidation. That's saying that they, that thing wants higher price. Now, King Dollar is not cooperating. King Dollar, got a, you know, King Dollar last week, it broke its consolidation. Now, this can be real classic. And what the classic would be, of course, is that you go up to where you broke. Okay, so picture. And this isn't, you know, this is not scientific, by the way, okay? Technical analysis is, uh, you know, a probability business. So the break of the dollar last week was 95,625. We're 100 points over that right now. And, and when I say that, you know, that's why, like, okay, where do you put this line? You know, you know it's a consolidation, but, you know, you get a lower part of 95,515, and then it could even go up about as high as 95. 894. Okay. Bottom line, we'll see how this shakes out. Thus far, it really hasn't rejected lower price as it got to higher price. Notes and bonds. You take a look at notes and bonds. <clears throat> That's what's moving markets out here today. There's no doubt. You have notes as well as bonds break their low. And let's see, we more than likely get an ABC structure on the way down. And this is where the ABC structures really work well, meaning yeah, it's an ABC down. Okay, so the 10 year just, uh, we went 131.19 to 127.30. So you got, one, so four and a half points. That's going to bring you to 124, about 124. Right now we're 127. So that's going to be a big move still. We go take a look at the 30 year, the way the 30 year is set up. I suspect this is going to be an ABC down too. Okay, so you broke this swing point. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is an ABC down too. So you got 163.19 and okay, it's 154. So we get nine bucks. That's gonna bring us to 140. Let's say call 148 and we're at 153. So this is gonna put some more damage uh, into the marketplace, man. I mean, because you know, people, uh, you know, are looking at these rates and how fast they've gone up. We'll see where the whole rest of it shakes out. But there, there's no doubt that they had some big movement. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities in this marketplace. You had Microsoft take, uh, taking over Activision. Activision's up $17.5. We got, uh, let's see, AMC's down $1.60. Look at this. AMC's at 1895 making its way to $3.00. You got Nvidia down nine bucks. That's trading at 260. That's that's in that's in trouble. JP Morgan. That's out 657. That's a big hit. 154.34. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm Mr. Basil Chapman.